the social media business certainly seems to be a hotbed of investor activity. For some insight, let's bring in Robert Rossidi, who advises companies and investors on social media. Robert, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Kevin. You know, it feels like, Robert, at this point, everybody is scrambling to get into the social media space. Do you feel that way? And is it a right move? I, I, I think it is a right move. The global gaming market is almost it is going to be about $49 billion next year. But when you look at certain subsectors, like the online and the mobile gaming, are, is approximately last year was about one billion and about a half a billion, and those markets, those specific sectors, are expected to double over the next few years. So, so tremendous just, growth. Tremendous growth. Is that where you see the success? It's the gaming side, the social gaming side. The social gaming side has got tremendous legs. It's such a profitable business model, uh, and, and the idea is, if you think about it, you get revenue, recurring revenue on an ongoing basis. Some of these games cost money. Right. And what's happening is one, it, it's, a, it's a combination of free and play. The, the People can join the game and play for free, but they can get extra powers and special, and special uh, capabilities by actually paying real money for virtual well, goods. And you know, Robert, we're trying to get our head around this. I mean, when people start playing the game, do they really pony up and want to get to those extra layers, extra special mm -hmm. activities? If you, you know, pay for it. It's interesting. Uh, there are cultural differences. In the United States, actually, for example, Playdom, only 2% of their users actually pay for, for virtual goods. Mm. However, when you look across the world, for example, in Korea and China, people have been paying for virtual goods for, for a few years now. And I think it's a cultural thing. And over time, I think more and more people will start paying real money for virtual goods in these environments. So when you see Disney buying Playdom, it's a good move. It's a phenomenal move. Smart move. Uh, for, for, for a few reasons. Number one, it's a phenomenal uh, revenue generator model and a very highly uh, highly profitable business model but it also helps them extend their brands for different franchises uh, for example a few years ago they purchased Club Penguin for three hundred million dollars and mm. they're you know the, the they're actually growing a, a user base where people are paying a monthly subscription so these recurring revenues are, are significant so, so you think in the future I don't know make it five years from now when we talk about Disney it's not gonna be so much about theme parks it's not gonna be so much about maybe the the networks they own it's gonna be more about social gaming no, I, I think it's going to be about, well for Disney it's going to be about everything it's more than just movie TV films right. online and gaming and gaming tends to be the most profitable now Google also watching that gaming space and they're supposed to be in talks with a couple of uh, popular online games to develop a broader social networking service that mm -hmm. could compete with Facebook where does Google fit into all of this uh, yeah. Google can't not look at this 40 uh, approximately 49 billion dollar market next year if you look at the ad market it is somewhat struggling so this is a great opportunity to diversify their revenues and grow with these new and innovative markets is, is this the only part of social media that really excites you like I think about what about something like LinkedIn mm -hmm. and it's been a big story this week we got kind of an idea of the potential value uh, of LinkedIn about two billion based on a, a, an investment that Tiger Global is making in the company a lot of us are, are in LinkedIn some of us use it some of of us don't. What do you think about something like that? Uh, LinkedIn is a phenomenal business tool, and everybody appears to be uh, attaching themselves to it. But it, it's still, it, it, they are actually creating some ongoing revenue models. So if you get an advanced LinkedIn, uh, a LinkedIn account, mm -hmm. it, you, you could create ongoing revenue streams. So little by little, people are migrating from the free to the pay model over time. And these new pay models gives you gives you extra capabilities. And if you think about LinkedIn, having extra capabilities to profile your expertise in your industry right. is a lot more valuable than a, a bigger gun that <laughs> that shoots it's all about farther and faster. Isn't it? Absolutely. All right, we're gonna have to leave it there. Hey, Robert, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate Robert Rossidi joining us on the new social media space and what's gonna happen there.